My personal philosophy is be disciplined. Perfect discipline will lead to freedom on your instrument. But the key is love. Only love will make it work in the end. And that's Paul. He has the same amount of passion for his guitars that I do for music. And he has taken the electric guitar to another level. My name is John McLaughlin. This is a PRS private stock signature model. And it is an outstanding instrument. How long have I been playing music? A long time. When I was six, my mother was an amateur violinist and she wanted me to play violin. Uh, and I started, but my sound was so atrocious. After six months, uh, I asked her, do you mind if I study piano instead of the violin? So I studied piano, just classical piano, of course, until 11 when the guitar arrived in my hands and uh, my life was changed forever. I first met Paul Reed Smith uh, at one of the Frankfurt music messes. Paul gave me a guitar. That was my first PRS guitar. I was so attached to it, I put it on the cover of this DVD box set. And I hadn't played the guitar on the box set at all. But I, I wanted to have that guitar with me on the front cover. That gives you an indication of uh, my attachment to that guitar. And that was the very first one. And he hasn't stopped. He's crazy about the detail. And the details are everything. Down to the, look at the nut here. The neck, the wood he uses on the neck, the fingerboard. If it doesn't feel right, then how are you gonna play it? It, it has to feel good in your hand. The fingerboard, the, the, how the strings fit. And this is why I love my guitar, is because for me it's perfect. Playing music is not a function, it's a way of being. And so playing an instrument requires you to move out of the normal level of consciousness. And basically it comes down to the, to the, to the aphorism, if you're thinking, you're not playing. If you're playing, you're not thinking. Because that's where the the real music comes from. It comes from beyond thought. If you have problems with your instrument, you're going to stay in the problem zone. And, and the, the listener is going to be not satisfied because the whole point is they're waiting for you to move out of that thinking zone into the music zone. Once you're in the music zone and playing, they go, they go with you. That's the whole point. I know I do. Every time I go to a concert, I'm waiting for the musician to take me into their world and that I forget my world and I'm, I, I'm, I'm living in their world. This guitar came to be in my hands thanks to Paul calling me oh, some time ago, uh, that he wanted to make my signature guitar, which I'm very honored to be, to, to have. Thank you very much, Paul. And he had, he had some quite specific ideas from the very beginning. So when I got the, the first prototype, it felt different, but it felt good different. Let me put it like that. Of course, Paul wants to know how I felt about this, how I felt about that. The singular most significant change I asked him for actually belonged in the realm of the electronics. 
the little switches just to split the coils. They were not that important to me. Then he sent me the second prototype with this new development of EQ they had on the guitar. I plugged it in and I called him right away. Two minutes later, I was on the phone to him and I said, Paul, you have to keep this in. Because in a way, the palette of tonal variety uh, had extended, but in such a, a great way that, that I was really taken with it. As far as the tonal capacity is concerned, you have the pickup switch like standard, like it's been for the last 60, 70 years. Tone, volume. So you control the pickups with this, the tone of volume, but here you control not just the coil, but you control the EQ, which is really quite phenomenal. Now, I'm gonna move, uh, play, exclusively with the back pickup and the, the EQ in the two different places I played. difference. So now I'm going to move to a more softer tone. I'm going to use just the controls on the guitar. I'm going to back off the volume, move to the front pickup, and I will show you to the, a couple of different permutations of the tone that I like to use. Okay. clean. So that gives you a pretty good idea of the tonal qualities of the guitar. I think it's a beautiful instrument. And I'm, I'm really, I'm very touched and honored, really, that Paul wanted to make a signature guitar for me because at my tender age, I can play any guitar I want, but I, I don't want to play any guitar. This is the guitar I want to play. So I was very happy to do it.